Greetings, signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the mothership. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. I've already done my meditation and called in appropriate guidance, protection, coverage, and needed for us. I just ask that you be. Thank you for all the donations, the bookings, the reaching out through email. I really do appreciate all of you. I wish you peace, bliss, and a wonderful day. So, yeah, we keep getting that nine energy. That's completion. All right. Well, 10 is completion, but nine is like the furthest you can go. All right. Um, this is somebody that's single, self-sufficient. But we see 10 right there, too. I just noticed that. All right. So, yeah, I feel like this is connecting with individuals that are very much balanced here. Oh, we got that snake eyes in the seven. This is somebody that's creating something. All right. All right, I, I do feel like some of you are doing some sort of partnership or collaboration or somebody wants to collaborate with you and it stopped at 5-5. Five, five. Interesting. All right, so <laughs> I don't know why I be getting, I'm on your ass, Mr. Postman. I don't know. What is that? Somebody watching Friday or something? I don't know. Is that Friday? I don't know what movie that came from. Child, what's the energy for today? So... Spirit, universal life force source is saying, are you being authentically you? All right. Some of you could be signing leases, documents, okay, partnerships, contracts, again, collaboration. All right. I do. I heard identity theft. So, you know, there's always a shadow side to all readings. Okay. I wish I could get the butterfly, roses, and unicorn farts, but I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, you may be having to do some records or record keeping. Okay, so this is about finances for a lot of you. Okay, so I'm hearing without risk, there is no reward. Okay, so some of you may have took a financial hit. Okay, something with Bitcoin or stocks or something like that. Somebody may be having to analyze some uh, paperwork. Okay, something that's going to be illuminated about a karmic cycle. Some of you could be traveling. Okay, this is confirmation for you. So it's going to be an ending, and then it's going to be a new beginning. And this is a confirmation reading for a lot of you, okay? So with the second house, that's Taurus energy. You could have Virgo in the second house. You could have Virgo in the eighth house. But we got Taurus, Virgo, and Scorpio energy. Aquarius here, and with the first house, the body, that's Aries energy. All right, so you may be working on your body. Somebody may take, may be taking a risk. I do hear some surgery. Um, somebody could travel uh, real spontaneously. Mm -hmm. So somebody wants to come towards you to heal something. Okay, they're leaving a very toxic situation. You may be having a telepathic communication with this person, or I mean, have, having a telepathic connection with this person with ninth house we have again that nine energy this is somebody that's very passionate with the 33 here i'm hearing innovative or innovator somebody could be using some sort of um ouija board here or some sort of water manifestation somebody could have to travel over a body of water but the 33 symbol i mean 33 number is a master number okay that's a spiritual Trail blazer. This is somebody that's complete and has a lot to offer. And as you can see, yeah, I keep I'm keeping that one reverse. My stars already know. I listen. Okay. I feel like somebody's coming out of mental conflict here. All right. So you could be reaching out to a oracle, a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium, or you could be one. Okay. I feel like somebody else is getting the blame. Okay, so maybe someone tried to scapegoat you in this situation. So I feel like somebody turned their focus or they need to turn their focus possibly to a Scorpio or a Scorpio has to turn their focus to a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the sixth house that belongs to Virgo. All right, that's about your health, your routines, your investments, your work. Okay, yeah, look, we have Scorpionic energy, we have Jupiter. All right, in the eighth house, this is also speaking about other people's finances. So, somebody could be analyzing your finances. 
You could be doing taxes, uh, you know, again, signing some sort of lease, okay? Or analyzing some contract, okay? Mm. I'm hearing, we want prenup, we want prenup. Somebody could be analyzing some sort of prenuptial agreement here. Going over their finances, somebody could be getting a background check, uh, yeah. So we have a victim and a mentor. So somebody has a victim mentality, okay? So for some of you, this is a past lover that may feel some sort of way because of your spiritual calling, okay? Some of you may be going to school like a like a, a victim advocate or something like that. You could be starting some sort of nonprofit here with a uh, higher level soulmate. This soulmate doesn't have to be um, sexual. It could be a plutonic relationship, and that's why we keep having that gamble energy come out. Okay, so somebody sees you as uh, this, you know, Taurus energy, Libra energy. You could be a Taurus, you could be a Libra, they could be or something like that. But they see you as really divine, you know, um, really attractive, seductive with the Hadonis energy here. They could see, view you as an earth angel. OK, somebody sees you as overcoming a lot of obstacles with the mystic here It's possibly because they're throwing spell work at you and, uh, and doing some investigation to see if it's working. Somebody could also be a victim of a crime and someone could be doing some sort of investigation on someone. Yeah. Yeah. With mentor here, somebody be, could be going through counseling with the re uh, rebellious energy here. I feel. Yeah. This is like humanitarian energy. Yeah, so, yeah, someone feels like they have to rescue you or that they have to protect you in some sort of way. Eighth house and endings and beginnings. So it's definitely a change manifesting for you. Somebody, if they're not single, they want to be or they will be. Yeah, advocate. We keep getting advocates. So somebody definitely works for the public. So we have detectives. Somebody could be investigating um, a death, actually, with the advocate here, like a victim's advocate. Yeah, I feel like somebody's investigating, investigating or being investigated for their involvement in some sort of crime here. I hear a crime with passion. I also hear, like, finances. This could be, like, insurance fraud. Okay, what is some things called? Uh, yeah, when you get insurance on people's lives and stuff. Yeah, this could have something to do with the mother. This could be a child's mother, their mother, your mother. Okay, you can speak on the platform or someone's views their mother as being innocent. Are you, yeah, I feel like somebody viewed their mother as being innocent, but their mother was definitely rebell uh, rebellious here. Okay, somebody could be in court. I don't know what their mother here with the goddess and pioneer and beggar, okay? So this may be some somebody, again, that you left out in the cold. They're talking about you. This could be a friend, a family member, or a lover, okay? Yeah, there could be some gossip going on about a spiritual leader, okay? Or it could be a priest, a shaman, a healer. This person could be on a public uh, platform. They could be a warlock, a wizard, a witch, a high priest, something like that, a high priest, okay? So this would be somebody that pretends to be or something that they're not. They're, they really have like a fascination with death. Okay, this could be ending people's finances. Are they dealing with someone that has a fascination of death? Uh, yeah, mentor. Why is mentor here? Somebody definitely needs some counseling, okay? So yeah, I feel like we have a masculine with that uh, way energy, okay? This is somebody they may have tried to mentor someone, or they are a mentor. They feel like a martyr. They got that martyr energy. This could be an older man trying to mentor. Um, okay, for some of you, it's an older man trying to mentor a, a wife or trying to... They feel like they have some sort of responsibility for this person. Who is this person? Why is this here? Oh, so we have the Dominion Angels, proper order delivers God's justice into unjust situation, mercy and help. Yeah. Okay. So somebody definitely feels like they have to protect them, protect, oh, protect them. So they feel, they may feel like they have to protect 
uh, their finances again okay they could have been a victim of a crime with the spiritual growth here somebody's going to be enlightened this could be a man being enlightened or yeah this feels like a man being enlightened about someone that you're trying to help okay this person could work in the health department with gatekeeper mercury and peace and travel yeah this person may be traveling towards you i feel like they can't sleep okay yeah this is somebody trying to protect an innocent person. Why is the healer here? This person may have been, they may have had some sort of attack on their finances. And this is something that may, that may be coming out. Okay. They could have been blackmailed. They could have child support issues. They could have been a victim of fraud. Okay. I do feel like whoever this is, they're receiving some sort of karma because they weren't, they weren't supposed to attack the person that they attacked. Okay. This person is a healer, especially with Virgo being here. This is like humanitarian. This is a health worker. This is somebody that's meant to help a lot of people. And you know what? I got that download <clears throat> that people... Uh, these individuals that are doing these spiritual attacks, they're attacking people that are sent to help them, which is, that's supposed to help them in the future. Okay? And the, that's what makes it so ironic. I'm hearing sad love story. Why is the child support here? Somebody could be going to jail for child support also. I feel like they may have been a victim of fraud or try to commit some sort of fraud. So we have desires of the flesh, the flesh wars against the spirit, Galatians 5, 17, New Kings, New King James, okay? So this is somebody succumbing to some sort of addiction here, okay? I feel like they're in a dead end situations. They may also um, lost someone. Or someone can need some healing or medical attention. Okay, so this is somebody that had no role models. Very bratty-like energy. Somebody needs to be honest about a situation from the past. Or they want to be honest about a situation from the past. They could possibly be on their deathbed for some of you. Why is this be honest card here? This is something that was a soul contract. This was meant to teach you a lesson. Yeah, because you definitely moved on. And that was the plot twist. A lot of you are in your North Node energy. Okay, so it says, I say dance, they say ha ha. It's supposed to say jump, but she already know. This is somebody that is a shot caller. Or they believe they could call a lot of shots. Okay, but they had to go back to school. Or you had to go back to school. You had to learn something from this person. It says be in love with your life. Fearless, independent, and original. They tried to rule over you. This probably was somebody that got bullied a lot. Okay, as a child. Why is desires of the flesh here? This is definitely... Somebody that needs some healing because they've succumbed to an addiction. Because this is my Lady Day card. For those that don't know, this is that Billie Holiday energy. Somebody could be a singer or something like that. Or somebody, yeah, somebody could sing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or they used to sing here. They could have paid to have something done to a singer with the day of affliction here. You already know. This is my Lords of the Angels. This is talking about the elect ones. Okay, so yeah, somebody succumbed to some sort of addiction. That addiction could be a person, a place, or a thing. This is somebody that thought they were going to pay you back, possibly but sleeping with someone you know, or they just was very permissuous, permissuous, promiscuous. This person has a lack of commitment. Yeah, so some of you, this person was unstable. Okay, it was in that man whore energy. They will lie. They will a pervert. Either or, either or or all. <laughs> okay, so it says this could be. Somebody could have paid a reader. Okay, it could have been a, a family member or a friend. I feel like this person has, has, yeah. This is somebody that's skilled in mind effery. <clears throat> they could have also paid a reader to give bad advice on purpose. That's what I'm hearing. Pay me. Why is pay me here? 
They could have paid someone like a practitioner to try to break, break something up or hold something. Yeah. So this person could have been tempting your, tempting your person with sex. So something's going to come out to light about this person. This person with that was dishonest and they had some sort of involvement and in paying for something. So now they are this succumbing energy. So this is somebody that was either confused themselves or they are perplexed because whatever they're doing is not working. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody that is sneaky. So we have the underhanded tactics. Yep, these some of these are new cards, okay? Yeah, this is underhanded tactics. So this is somebody that's very sneaky. This person is sneaking and doing things they ain't supposed to do, okay? They could be lying or whatever. This could be somebody cheating. Somebody could be pregnant with a little girl or they have a little girl with this person. Yeah, this is somebody that they could have had a one-night stand with and there could have had a there could have been a child conceived by that. Okay, so yeah, somebody's cold-blooded. They're, they're like a brat. This could be a family or friend of theirs or yours. <clears throat> somebody, yeah, somebody's dealing with a, a runaway here, okay? Or somebody that's younger than them. They have like a very rebellious energy. We did see that, didn't we? So it says down the street, I'm the girl next door. I'm the fox you've been waiting for, okay? So somebody could find out that somebody's cheating with somebody that lives down the street, this could be a friend or a family member or a friend of the family I'm hearing. It could be an investigation on this person, especially if this is a younger person. Why is a detective here? So there's a detective watching a mystic. So yeah, they're gaining insight on somebody's character. Somebody's getting insight on this mystic's character. It's going to cause an ending or a new beginning. Well, both. Why is this mystic, why is this mystic here? You can't compete where you don't compare. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody that has some sort of jealousy of you. This could be a male or a female. This is somebody that ghosts you. They could have been ghosts. They could be going through some sort of depression. I feel, um, I'm smelling lavender or something like that. Okay? Yeah, so they couldn't take the heat. You didn't get like you didn't get clarity from this situation because this person has a, a fear of commitment. Happy thoughts. They may need counseling or are they getting counseling or help some, you know, some sort of ish health issue. So, yeah, this person is in that devil-like, demonic-like energy. I feel like they, whoever they're lusting for was very toxic. A mystic, a psychic, a tarot reader could have told this person that. Why is the devil here? <laughs> they could have told them that they married the wrong person. <laughs> Y'all already know this is my thug wife. But, of course, you know, the thug is in there, too. This is a low, vibration, low vibrational marriage or common law situation, okay? So, somebody's receiving karma for holding on to this toxic situation too long, okay? So, it says balance between good and evil, love on a higher level, okay? So, this person chose to stay in a lower vibration. They're somebody that likes to take risks. They are a sensation seeker, Take only what you need. So this person had a lot of baggage, okay? Again, this could be somebody coming towards you. This is somebody that completed a cycle, somebody that you don't want nothing to do with it. Do with. I know that y'all don't want to hear that anymore, but something needs to come out about this situation, obviously. So all these people that are involved there are under judgment with the day of affliction. It says, not all who wonder are lost, okay? So this person is constantly thinking, or these people are constantly thinking about you because you you completed the cycle with them. Why is the gen energy here? These are people that lied on you. So all lies are coming out. 